Oh man, is my hair going man? It's gone. Yo, what's good? We're back today. Uh, so, uh, these things are back. Gonna give them to the bro, uh, Ben. He's got the, he's got a black 180, VSK of Sonic. Yeah, so he's just gonna grab these. He's gonna, uh, end up rebarreling his front wheels, I think. And I guess, uh, uh, we'll get into this thing. Yeah, so basically what happened, well, nothing much happened really. I just was cruising this since the last video. Did that skid, drove it straight back home. Sat here ever since. And I had like a real bad um, gearbox leak. What I did is uh, ended up taking the drive shaft out because the cover that's meant to be at the back of the gearbox uh, was just having to wiggle around. So I was like, uh, hold on, let me investigate here real quick. Investigate it. And uh, this happened. See here? That's not meant to have a blip there. It's meant to be flush and round. So don't know how that happened. Yeah, stoked I found that before anything bad happened because they ended up putting it a whole straight through it, so I was like, god damn. But, uh, the bro Hamish up the road, uh, he had a drive shaft for me, which, uh, saved the day because I was not too keen on searching for one of those. Workman was the right one, got the right one this time, didn't have the right one the other time. Don't know how it was working, but... We'll leave it at that, and um, yeah, so the new one's in there now, and also the shift boot on top. Fuck, I don't know why I touched it, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the old one. Not too much left of it. Wipe the fingers. And yeah, this is the new one. Genuine parts, boys. This is probably the cheapest genuine part I've ever bought in my life, but genuine, genuine, as they say. So yeah, there we got the little, got the little F there for Ford's front. So I'm guessing that goes that way. That could have been catastrophic right there. Move this out the way. Yeah, you can see all the uh, stuff that's made its way out of uh, this thing. I'm gonna say I managed to clean all the stuff, but like, I don't want to see that. So let's go clean that. Jeez, while we're at it, let me get rid of this thing. Grab your super cheap auto breaking parts cleaner. No residue, this is the stuff. Grab your rag too. We're back in here. Brake parts cleaner. And our uh, rag here. Make sure to put something in that hole while you're uh, degreasing or cleaning the outside. As you don't want any uh, brake cleaner or parts cleaner in the actual gearbox itself. I'm sure that wouldn't be too good for it. So uh, I'm going to need the flash and then I'll show you what it looks like. Anyway, a bit of an update. It's a bit cleaner now. Not perfect, not perfect, but it's good enough, it's better than it was. <sighs> Just got back, some hectic weather. Alright, let's go to munch. Got some uh, top up fluid just for the transmission, probably because I've lost about a litre over the time of it leaking, so let's get some. Far up, it's a pretty good idea. Let's jug her in the hole. Bunch of transmissions done being thirsty. Remove. Press liquid. Boom, now we've got the new shifter boot on too. Easiest way to put these on. Lube up your sharp. Uh, yeah, anyway, you can put something on this and uh, just don't fucking try to slide it on while it's dry because you ruin your boots. So I just use a bit of this just to get it uh, lubricated, wipe it on off, and bang, she's on. So we'll uh, chuck this back in the gearbox. Boom. We are done. Complete. Looking good. Brand new, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it is uh, brand new. Lol. Could, what I could have done, though, is probably put this in and then slid this boot on. Yeah. But we'll put uh, this thing back on. This thing back on. And this thing back on. We're finished. All done. Back in there. New rubber boots in there. Everything's in there. Good to go. So basically that's almost the last thing to do. Uh, screen pipe as well. We just need to plumb that in, get that plumbed in and take it for a waff. Get a rego on it. And then it's fully legal again and we can do everything. So I can't wait for that. So give you a look at the bay because you probably have it. Look pretty nifty. Looking pretty good. Looking all tidy in here once again. So I need to get rid of the seats, not even mine. It's Josh's. 
Shout out to him for letting me borrow it for like um, two years, but shut the bro, I'll give it back to you some year. for this. What's the time now? It doesn't matter anymore, but what's the time now? Hold on, hold on. Finally, we got the rear. Got the last piece of the kit, boys. It's alright, it looks like we're, what we're after, the rear lip, but uh, might be a uh, like in 26 block or something like that. Might be a fucking um, SR20 kit back exhaust. Got that packaging off now. First look at the new diffuser lip under panel, whatever you want to call it. But basically, like, it's, it's, the exhaust actually comes through right there. So, yeah. no, it doesn't look right. No, no. Let's come back. Let's come back a little bit on the side of it. Once upon a time, a few of you noticed my bumper got snapped like right down there, like right across there. And then we had to glass it and it ended up going a bit wonky when it was drying. So, it's a little bit wonky. So that's why I got this to hopefully take your guys' minds off of that. But. Sort of see. Then if I bring it too much back that way, too much at the front. And this side's good. I got some um, uh, bolts and hardware, and we're gonna try to chuck those in. See, just because um, it's got the hole for the exhaust as well on this side, and so it's sort of like um, it's got like a dip in it for it, so then the bumper actually gets raised up. I'll just show you a bit easy. Here, you can actually put your like hand through here. So this needs to come up a bit. Yo, so man's gonna try um bolt this up. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Hopefully it looks mint. And I'll let you know when I do that.